stoked here. We're uh, trying out barbecued ribs for the first time on a smoker. I'm gonna throw on some salmon there a little later too. So I don't know if it'll turn out really good the first time because you know the first time that nothing's uh, perfect. But I looked up some recipes online and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully decent. So on the ribs, I only put salt and pepper for now so the uh, smoke can get all over the ribs. And for the salmon, I just threw on some uh, oil, vinegar, a little bit of rosemary, some garlic, salt, and a little vinegar and stuff. So yeah, I guess I'll leave this for a couple hours and I'll throw it on. <clears throat> or I might, I think I have to rinse it off. I'm not even sure. It's the first time I've uh, slow cooked it like this. I usually just barbecue it in uh, aluminum foil. So this is a new thing for me. The issue with keeping the temperature at like 200 is not that easy because when the fire first starts going, uh, you know, it gets up way too high. You know, it goes right to the top, like 400. And then uh, you let it cool down a bit and then you put in the stuff and it's like, oh shit, now it's just, you know, it's down to nothing. So you got to, uh, you know, it's one of the things you got to play with. So I got to put in some more stuff, get it kind of hotter, but obviously I don't want it too hot. And I only have the charcoal and some of these, uh, you know, wood chips and stuff, which um, I need, I'd like to have like little logs I could break up, but they didn't, they didn't get here yet. A little more work on this roof to make it a little bit nicer, but I actually already spent so much time uh, on other rooftops in the past. Like when I was in Taipei, I painted it, made it look really nice. At least I was up there for, uh, I think almost two years when I uh, painted it. And so, uh, you know, last year I was working at a university here and uh, it was a huge roof. And I was like, ah, oh, you know, it doesn't look nice if it's not painted or some huge area, you know, it's just all barren. And I was like, oh, if we're gonna hang out here all the time, you know, we should at least, uh, you know, make it look nice. So I like scrubbed down everything and with a wire brush, like a big one. And, um, but all this paint, I ended up spending like five, $600 on all this paint. And, uh, you know, you're not even sure before you do it what all of the, uh, if all the colors will work out right and stuff. Um, kind of looked a little bit like a swimming pool because I did paint the bottom. Probably shouldn't have even bothered. But, um, yeah, so it took, you know, I don't know, a week or two, to, you know, all day painting up there to get that. And then put up some lights, made it look really nice. I had uh, my shuffleboard up there, too. I bought a shuffleboard, like, right before the pandemic because I was on the... Uh, bottom floor of this like super big apartment and uh you know before the pandemic i figured i'd be working at that school for you know a few years or whatever i was like damn i got this huge place i was like i'll spend like 300 bucks to get a shuffleboard that would be awesome you know and uh and then yeah like the pandemic hit and they uh got rid of all the uh the teachers because most of the people couldn't come back anyway and then uh i ended up getting a job nearby at that other university so i used the uh you know, at first I was just going to leave the shuffleboard and then uh, I actually paid for a crane, <laughs> like $300, put that thing on the roof. Figured I'd be there for a while, painted the roof, you know, set up all the lights, made it look really nice. And then like, you know, six months later I got fired. <laughs> so that was kind of a bummer. But, you know, sometimes I uh, talk a little bit too much shit and, uh, you know, people, uh, most people learn to keep their mouth shut. I'm kind of not that way. Anyways, so yeah, let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out, you know, there's obviously a certain amount of air it needs to keep going, and I'm not sure exactly, like, if I should keep that one open or whatever, but anyway, it takes a few hours. I'll just go downstairs and go to YouTube University again and see if I can figure that out. Yeah, so anyway, I uh, had to leave that job. They're like, you can find a new place in a week, so I moved to... Uh, uh, a place downtown. It's a district called Yulin, which actually is probably the coolest spot in Chengdu, right downtown, pretty much. And uh, there's a lot of like new coffee shops. There's a bagel place I was at today with really nice bagels and stuff. And so it's a cool area. There's a lot of nice bars and stuff. Um, but yeah, I was about to paint this roof, and I was like, oh man, should I spend the money and the time? It's like, then I just realized I'm like, oh, I'm probably moving anyway. <laughs> so anyway, back to the barbecue. Um, yeah, so I thought that was actually cool. Oh, great. Look, at it's a smoker, so I want tons of smoke. But I just saw online the guy's like, oh, no, you don't want that at all. That's like, 
Got to make your barbecue taste like shit. <laughs> and uh, I just want to look at the meat for a second. So, of course, the temperature dropped down. Um, I had to put a bunch of more charcoal in there. But, yeah, they're basically saying, like, you need wood fire, you know, to get this thing going. But uh, good thing I got a, uh, next to my little kegerator here, too. Got a, uh, got an oven here, so. I got the deep fryer set up, so yeah, I think I might have to throw the uh, ribs in the end in the uh, in the oven, but yeah, it's all good. You know, the first time it never works out perfect. Get the smoothie set up. And uh, by the way, if you notice, I kind of moved it around a little bit. It's because uh, I kind of don't want people around to really see the smoke, because uh, I think technically you're not supposed to have a uh, you know barbecues up on the roof. They generally don't care about this kind of stuff, but you kind of never know, you know, like even the other day it was kind of funny. Someone like I got a message and they're like, oh, your car is blocking a sidewalk and your doors open, like complaining about random shit. And then like I go down there, and I was like, my door's not closed. And I was like, it's not even blocking the sidewalk, you know, so I don't know if they're just giving me shit or what, but I don't want to give people more excuses to, uh, you know, whine and complain about something. So. Nice sunset here in Chengdu. One of the rare, clear days. Yeah, occasionally after, uh, like, it rains and stuff, it'll uh, get rid of a lot of the pollution. And you can actually see some of the mountains, like the high mountains, uh, that are, like, over five, six uh, thousand meters, you know, that are about 100 kilometers away. But that's only on, like, a real clear day. Yeah, so finally getting over 200 again, which is a little too high, so I'll have to uh, either close the uh, lid or down here a bit. Because, yeah, so at least it finally. <laughs> it took about an hour and a half or two, but... So, yeah, it was almost up 200 again, and I think what I'm going to do is take these out. Obviously, they're not totally done or anything by any means, but uh, I'll wrap them up with some sauce, and uh, I'll put the salmon below this. Has come. Oh, we got the salmon underneath there. Pretty decent. Nice. Looks, uh, yeah, not too bad. I don't know if it's cooked all the way because it wasn't 200 for six hours. <laughs> six hours, but you know, we, uh, we'll try. What's the verdict on the ribs and salmon? Was it okay? What do you guys think? It was the best ribs I've ever had. I've been to ribs in years. <laughs> now, is it okay actually? The ribs okay? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's actually, I think it's okay. I mean, it, uh, just from a big market, you know, like. Lived in BC my whole life. I'm 23 years old. And I'm a climber, generally speaking. So, of course, the wood came the next day, obviously, like as expected. Um, but it's okay. The food turned out all right. And, uh, you know, I've got it for a while. So, I'll, I'm sure I'll do many more uh, evenings of smoked barbecue. I think next time maybe I'll get a brisket or something, or maybe even try the salmon alone. Um, obviously, as you notice, you know, I had the big ribs, you know, for regular pig size, basically. Um, what you guys usually use in the States are the baby back ribs, so I think that'd be a little easier to work with. Um, so that's just something to think about. And the, the smoker I'm using is called an offset smoker. So that's where, you know, you have the smoke box on the side and it comes through. You have propane smokers and electric smokers and a few other things. So, you know, whatever you want, uh, look into what, uh, what works best for you. Cause obviously the one I have, it's rated probably the best for like the smoke, the authentic smoke flavor and things like that, but you've got to play with it a lot. It's much more finicky. So you have to get that temperature the exact way where obviously an electric one or some of the other ones, you could just, you know, put in the number of the temperature and, you know, leave it for the most part for a few hours. So that's just something to consider. I'll put some links below for um, some things I could recommend. And uh, like you saw, mine was good for maybe, I don't know, six to 10 people. 
Um, and then I guess afterwards I could have put coals on the bottom and like did burgers or other things. So maybe you could use a small one to start, which you could probably get for like, you know, $100 or something. Um, if you're going to do a party of like 15, 20 people, you're going to definitely want the bigger like size drum, which has like two big levels. You know, I put that salmon down at the bottom. Uh, that's actually not supposed to be down there, I don't think. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll try to come out with a few other things uh, soon for uh, not just smoking. Maybe I'll do pizza and lasagna too. And then, of course, most of my other stuff's traveling. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.